Tonight, funding the restoration of Watertown's Globe Mini Mall. The state is putting in $558,000 toward the $3 million project, and locally a $400,000 loan was approved this fall. Safa News reporter Chad Charette learns more about the work. Situated along Court Street, the Old Globe Mini Mall has sat vacant for years, but thanks to a $400,000 loan, that's set to change. Advantage Watertown couldn't be happier. I look forward to seeing one of the last pieces of downtown come together and um, I just anxious, anxiously waiting to see what uh, what the plans are and seeing them come to fruition. At the year's final Advantage Watertown meeting, developer Dan Query with 302 Globe LLC discussed his plans for the old building. Outside, it's slated to get a total facelift with the current windows being one of the first things to go. You know, right now it's just a you know, it's kind of this hulking box with limited windows and limited window size, and we'll, we'll increase that. Inside, there's not much to see since crews have only just started with interior demolition. The developer's other building at JBY's place could be an indicator of what's coming to Court Street, though. Right now, plans call for approximately 15,000 square feet of business space on its first floor and 11 market rate single bedroom apartments upstairs. They're going to be you know, relatively large, I think, for, you know, for, a, for an, a downtown apartment and um, a lot of open space. For those concerned about the building's history, Query plans to keep the Globe name intact. It's an important building and it's an important name to this community, so I, I don't see why I would have any purpose or frankly right to come in and name it something else. The work at the Globe Mini Mall is slated to wrap up sometime next year, but Query doesn't plan to stop there. At the meeting, he revealed he has his site set on another Watertown property, but he also added it's a little too early to reveal an exact location. Chad Charette, 7 News.